Hey, this is Randy from Nerd Out. I'm essentially just doing like a vintage spotlight on, uh, on, a, on a vintage action figure that just, you know, it had an impact on me as a child. And uh, I don't know if there really is a rhyme or reason, but I'm going to try to analyze it. Um, the figure is Thal Jobin from the Star Wars Droid series. Uh, droids came out, uh, it was post uh, Return of the Jedi. It was sort of, a, I don't know, I guess a last ditch effort, effort for Kenner to continue making money off the Star Wars phenomenon, perhaps, or or Kenner, or Lucasfilm. But nevertheless, uh, from my memory of the cartoon was, I do remember enjoying it. I remember there was three different segments, but I could be wrong about that. It could have worked differently, but, but it was dedicated to... Uh, the first series was Thal Jobin and uh, Jord Dusat, and the second one was uh, Jan Tosh, and then the third one was a dude with a beard. I don't remember his name. Nevertheless, for some reason, this Thal Jobin character uh, really spoke to me as a kid. I, I think the primary reason was truly because of this haircut. Like, I don't know, it kind of it kind of represented youth and punk rock, and and it really uh, really appealed to me and. Uh, I remember when I got it, it was it was it became a favorite figure to me, even if the character really didn't uh it wasn't that it didn't resonate with me, it just it just didn't really speak volumes. He was he was sort of a Luke Skywalker-ish type character, uh, from what I remember. Um and I remember the droids cartoon being average. Like uh I went back and looked at it a little bit and it, it actually has some pretty good uh, cell animation or art animation. Uh, I'm not quite an expert on animation, but it looks pretty unique. It kind of reminds me, for some reason, of uh, the heavy metal movie animation. Um, it does have, uh, if, if you watch it now, I think it does have some really nice um, Star Wars sort of uh, look to it. And, and there's some really cool characters. And obviously, Th Thal, I always thought it was Thal Jobin, but uh, it's Thal Jobin. Like, he's got some interesting colors. He's got this, like, dark gray, which I don't know if it if it theoretically was supposed to be black on uh, in, in camera, but, like, it translates to, like, this grayish color. A little bit of blue and orange. Uh, I like the orange boots and the orange pocket. It really uh, stands out. But it really is about this this haircut. I mean, that that's such a unique haircut. <laughs> um, but it, 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 it became one of my childhood favorites, and uh, it's still, uh, the action figure still resonates with me. He's got like one cut off sleeve and, and one full length sleeve. I mean, it's just, uh, it's asymmetrical and interesting. Um, I did rewatch the droids episode. The first one I, he was in, I think it was called White Witch. I could be wrong about that. And uh, it looked pretty cool. It kind of brought back some memories. It's kind of a slow and boring, I don't want to say boring, but it's it's kind of perhaps not the best post or, or, or not the best Star Wars related uh, cartoon, but it, it actually has charm to it. And uh, going back and watching it uh, felt nice. Um, the figure itself only came with the standard, uh, I guess this would be considered the standard vintage Stormtrooper blaster, uh, except there, I'm not sure if this is the right one, because I think the droid figure came with an all black, like a jet black. And this is, this sort of has that bluish tint uh, but it's the only one I can get a hold of. It's kind of nuts because if you find an official one like on eBay, the all black one that also came with the Luke Skywalker and Stormtrooper disguise, like you're looking at like a $25 gun, which is pretty mind blowing. Uh, yeah, I mean, these weapons, I mean, everyone lost the weapons. The weapons are easily worth more than the figures. Um, I just rebought this uh, Thal Jobin uh, recently on eBay and it kind of... Uh, kind of shocked me that it was actually as expensive as it is. I, I think I got it for 65 and I think that was considered a, a pretty average to good deal. Um, I did have a vintage Star Wars collection complete with droids, Ewoks, the whole thing. And uh, years back, I sold it to help finance uh, a mortgage, uh, down payment on a mortgage. So it was a good trade, but um, I do miss that collection. But one of the one of the bigger regrets was that I sold my Thal Jobin and my, my Thal Jobin and my uh, droids figures. Some unique looking stuff there. Uh, just you know, again, uh, I don't know. Do people consider it canon? Is droids considered canon? I, I don't know, and I don't really care. All I do know is that like certain figures from my youth do. Uh, it just you know it 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 uh, it brings out um, just feelings and thoughts. 
And it's amazing that an action figure can do that. It, it just it just screams childhood. These were plenty. These were these were heavily available on the shelf back in the 1980s. Thal Jobin, George Dussat, uh, some of the Ewoks were very, very common. The difficult ones were the R2-D2 and C-3PO themselves. I remember them even being hard to find back in 1985, 86 when they were released. Um, and then KB, of course, cleared them out for like $1.79 a piece. And they sat there for a very long time. And uh, now people wish they could go back and uh, purchase those. One other note is that I noticed that the, the bubble for this figure when he's carded, yellow's really easy. So it, it obviously uh, had some sort of chemical reaction over the years and they, and they seem to always yellow. So finding a mint carded one is really quite difficult to find. And the card art was really nice on these, uh, liked it. Overall, uh, this, was, this, was, uh, this is a figure of my youth and this is, this is probably on my top 10 most influential uh, action figures of my youth. Um, hope you enjoyed that little, this little, uh, little ramble about a figure I liked. Uh, let me know if you had any of the droids, uh, what you thought of them. Uh, it's all about this hair, right? All about the hair. Uh, please subscribe and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And until next time, nerd out. Toys.